Lastly, to end this section on functions and function adjacent content, we have kind of a quirk of JavaScript, something called hoisting. It does have to do with functions, but it's also not crucial. It's not something that you need to stress about or worry about if you're having trouble understanding, but I do need to show it to you. So here we go. What do you think happens if I have a variable? I'll declare it with var first, var animal, and I'll set it equal to, what's a good animal? A tapir. And then I console.log animal. This probably is obvious, hopefully. If I run this code, it prints it out. But what if I switch the order up? What if I try and print animal first? What do you expect to see? I get undefined. That may or may not have been what you expected, but if I comment this out, what do you expect to see? Console.log animal, it doesn't exist. So we get an error, animal is not defined. But when I declare it after the fact, at this point, animal should still be undeclared, right? I should still get this error, but I don't. It tells me undefined. Remember that variables, when we declare them but don't initialize them, for example, var x, and I don't give it a value, x is set to undefined. Now what's happening here that is leading to this weird behavior is called hoisting. When JavaScript is interpreting the code, what happens is that it hoists up, I'm doing air quotes but you can't see it, it hoists up the variable declaration. This part right here, it doesn't actually move it in your code, it doesn't reorganize your code, but it runs this part first, var animal, and then you can think of it as doing this after the fact. So it starts with var animal, so animal has a value of undefined. Then we console.log animal, which gives us undefined, and then finally animal is set to tapir. So if I run this code, we get undefined and then tapir. But that wasn't the code we had written, of course, this was the code, but we'll still get the same output, undefined tapir. So this behavior is called hoisting, where JavaScript is going to see a var declaration. It will run this first, and then later we'll fill the value with tapir. Now this is an odd behavior. It's probably not something you would ever want to happen. If you're trying to print animal out, you probably want animal to be defined and have a value. So to avoid it, you just wanna make sure you're always declaring your variables before you use them, declaring and initializing them before you do anything with them. So that is var. Now let's compare let and const. You can probably tell where I'm going with this. Let's make a variable and instead of animal, let's go with shrimp. Shrimp will be set to harlequin shrimp. Very, very pretty species of shrimp. You can Google that. I wanted one as a pet for a long time until I learned the only food they eat is a starfish and they keep the starfish alive and just keep eating its legs and then letting it regrow and eating more legs. It's very, very harsh reality for the starfish. Anyway, if we console.log shrimp here, we probably expect to see harlequin shrimp, but if I do the same thing I did with the var, where I put the console.log first, what happens? We get something different. It tells us reference error. Cannot access shrimp before initialization. So variable declarations made with let are not hoisted like they were with var declarations. And that's one of the main reasons that we use let, aside from block scope as well. So it is very different than var. Two different ways of making variables, but clearly they behave differently. So when we declare a variable with let, it's not hoisted. We cannot access it before we actually run this code or before this variable exists, which makes sense. That's how the language should work, right? We wouldn't want that to happen. If we are trying to console.log shrimp, we expect shrimp to be a thing, or we expect to get an error saying shrimp is not a thing. Unlike what happened here, where we could console.log animal before we actually gave it a value, JavaScript knew it existed, even though we hadn't hit that line yet, which is weird, it's bizarre. Now, if I do the same thing with const instead of let, we get the same behavior. So let and const are not hoisted. Now, this brings us to functions. With functions, if we write a function declaration, like function um, howl, 
which will console.log something like that. If I call howl after the fact, clearly it works. We've done that a million times. But if I call howl before, what do you think happens? It still works. So functions, at least function declarations that we have here, a function statement, those are hoisted. You can think of them as being put at the top of your file. So all the way up at the top, actually. That's not actually happening. It's just the JavaScript interpreter is running across these lines. It's processing these lines first so that we can call howl, which is also unexpected. What's interesting is that if we instead write our function using a function expression, so I'll declare a variable. I can use var or I could use let. I'll do var. Let's do a function called hoot. And it will console.log hoo. I'll call hoot down below. We know that works. If I try and call hoot first, this time it doesn't work. Why does it not work? We're using a different type of function. This is a function expression. These aren't hoisted. Although that's not entirely true, the variable hoot does exist. If I were to console.log hoot, it exists, but it's not a function. Whoops, get rid of those parens. And now if I console.log, we get undefined. It's the same thing we saw up here with animal. This variable declaration is hoisted up. JavaScript knows there's a variable called hoot, but it doesn't know the value, so it sets it to undefined. So if I try and execute hoot with parentheses, it's trying to call undefined, which you can't do. So the variable is hoisted, the value is not. And if I instead did let, we get a different error with let because this variable declaration is not hoisted, just like shrimp wasn't or whatever we did for let, that was not hoisted. And because we're storing this function in the variable declared with let, it's not hoisted at all. So we get this error saying, you cannot use that function before it's declared. You can't access hoot before it exists, which makes sense. You shouldn't be able to do that, but you can with function declarations and when you use var. So that's hoisting. It's not the highest stakes, super important thing that you have to understand before you move on, but it's kind of an interesting quirk of JavaScript and let and const exist to remedy some of these unexpected consequences that would happen with var, where you could write code that seems like it shouldn't work. Maybe you wrote it in error and it didn't throw an error. Instead, it treated the variable as undefined and it could be confusing, it could lead to issues. So definitely use let and const, but it's good to be aware of this weird hoisting thing.